Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Rosero Network. My name's Rich Walker and with me is Dan Webb and Hello. today today we're looking at Nino Cunny 2 colon Revenant Kingdom. Hello. Which is coming out this March is it? Hello. Something like that? March and I like think that. so. I think so. I've, I've forgotten. Was it delayed? Was it fair? But yeah, it was delayed. March, yeah, right? they wanted to make it as perfect as they could. So uh, this is a bit of the open world gameplay. It Dan, looks like one where your character is a little chibi thing, and you can uh, get into encounters. You can yeah. collect stuff. This is how you roam the open world. So it's very similar to one. Then did you play one, Rich? I didn't play one, but I this played one. one for about twenty hours and then got bored. And really? I don't. I can't put my finger on why. And I'm still trying to work that out to this day. I have a confession. I bought the first one and never got around to playing it. And I, I feel incredibly guilty about that. Because it looked great. It does. And this one looks great too. This one's set hundreds of years after the original. And you play as Evan, the boy king. Evan? Yes. How sure? Is that the um, surname? No, I think it's his, his full name is Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> all right. right. So he's uh, working class. Yeah, yeah. Um, he <laughs> is. Um, his dad works in the coal mines. Sure, uh, sure. And his mom, um, she basically uh, made curtains. Yeah, right? and uh, for some reason he's got a tail and ears. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe he's out on like a hen do. Is he a cat? I, I, I don't know. I or, don't or know. Or is this just a look that he's going for? <laughs> what are these purple and red things? Are they are the Higgledees. Higgledees, they're your little elemental kind of buddies. Right, so let me let, let me get this right. The monster collecting has gone. Yep, and in their place, in its place, uh, the little Higgledees. It's been a while since I played the first one, but I think I liked the monster hunting and collecting stuff. Yeah, it, it was felt kind a of little a, bit like Pokemon. I was going to say, yeah, it was sort of a Pokemon-ish element, which That's everyone said, loves. They are pretty cute. They are cute. So Although, can you only have um, ten of each? Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think they replenish over time, or you collect them, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I used them a hell of a lot. For? I played for about 25 minutes, so I don't have all the answers. Oh, but, Jesus, um, that's a short... Oh, but it was a showcase, right? It was a little showcase thing, yeah, so they were trying to get as many people to play the games oh, yeah, as they could. It gives you a good indication of... Um, yeah, and I mean, there's do. a few different fact, uh, kind of facets that I played. Uh, this is your partner, Roland, by the way, who's basically your sort of protector. Is he a rat? He is not a rat, but his name is Roland. Yeah, I see where you're coming okay, from. Okay, okay. All right, these um, these are lizards. Little lizardy twats with axes. <laughs> lizardy um, twats. Withens, mate. Withens or wyverns. Wait, hold on, that's not what a wyvern looks like, is it? Uh, I guess they're like dragons, aren't they? Yeah, they can be. They're really open to like interpretation. I think that one looks more like a toad well, with wings. Open to ter- interpretation, I would say. Um, no, that looks nothing like a wyvern. Well, I no. don't like the uh, creative license that they've taken no, with you the. Don't. With the Wivens. The Wivens. Do you, see, I always said Wyvern. Um, I think it was Dragon Age I played, and they, they said Wyvern in that, and I was like saying Wyvern now. Don't they now. say Wyvern in The Witcher as well? Do they? Well, do they say I, I don't know what to no, believe. Actually, I think they say Wyvern in The you know really? what? I've played The Witcher for like 300 hours, and I still can't tell. I, I don't know who to believe. I don't know who to believe. I'm going to say Wyvern, I'm going to go back. But anyway, yeah, these, these guys just sort of kept on coming, and I this there's was... A, there's a place in the Midlands called Wyvern. It is there? And it's spelt that way. Well, so I'm going to go with Wyvern. Yeah, Wyvern's right then. I think it's like, um, it's like big hills there. Oh, I know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Wyvern Hills? Is, yeah. Is, is that what it's called? Uh, probably. <laughs> it's, so important, not, it's important we, we get to the nub of this, isn't well, it? Well, this is what I like about when we do these videos. We talk about we the game, but then we just tangents. go massively <laughs> off topic. Yeah. Right, anyway, yeah, so go on. Wyvern. Wyvern, Wyvern. So yeah, your Higgledies help you out. Wall Wallard. <laughs> wall, 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 Wallard. Wyvern, <laughs> Wyvern, Wallard. <laughs> so yeah, you can deploy your little Higgledies, and every single time Evan will go, "I'm counting on you," which gets annoying after a while because <laughs> he keeps on saying it constantly. Um, but they're they're, they're mega that. useful. Like, like I say, they they've got different elements. The green ones um, are for recovery. So I should have probably used them now. I think I get screwed over, but. And this is where we jump ahead. This is where we jump ahead because I, I screwed that bit I, up. It's a beautiful game, isn't the, it? The world's incredible. It's still got that, you know, uh, Studio Ghibli style. Yeah, right. From the first Absolutely. game, which was gorgeous. I mean, look at that depth of field there. It looks looks it's great. It's great. It is. It is. And everything's like out of focus. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's and a very pretty game. Focus. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful game. Very like, pretty the art game. style is wonderful. Mm-hmm. Just the, the UI as well. Everything's like really... Yeah. It does, it's like... Ghibli-esque. It's, yeah. It's beautiful. And if they delayed it Wait, to make it as Monstrous, good as they can, I mean, Thog. But what Monstrous then? Metal Tester. Is that what it's, it is? Something like that, yeah. So the combat hasn't really changed, right? Except for the monsters are gone and now you have Higgledies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
I don't know. Maybe Jesus is it more Christ. combo based? Perhaps you've got different abilities. You can guard. You can. Well, you could do all that in the other one, couldn't you? Could you? Well, I you didn't play what? it enough. I can't remember. The combat was the the least interesting thing about it. I found yeah. last time. Oh. I think that's why I got bored. Right, right. The was combat just, wasn't doing it for yeah. you. Yeah, that's fair enough. The combat wasn't bad. It just, you know what I mean. It wasn't. Yeah. I didn't feel like emotionally invested in the combat. I found it actually. I think I found it really easy. Yeah. And then I was like, "There's no challenge." <laughs> I can't right. remember there was difficulties as well. Weird. I don't, yeah, oh, that's weird. Maybe you should go back to it one day and uh, see if you still uh, but it's, it's, feel it's, the same. It's arena kind of real time. Is is it turn based? <laughs> like, is it just combos now? This this is yeah not turn based at all. Because in the other one you could just cure powers and stuff. Yeah, you you, you kind of find your window and you just kind could of you attack. Cure, you know what? It's it's one of those games that I kind of enjoyed, but it's so forgettable. The first one. Really? Yeah, like, oh, I don't wow. really remember a lot about it. Wow. I just remember going, oh, this is a beautiful game, I want to play it. Yeah. And I played it, and then I stopped playing it. Well, hopefully that's not going to be true I, of this one. I love JRPGs. Yeah, RPGs. I mean, me too, me too. Any RPGs. I wish I had more time, more time to play these, because once upon a time I could get into a JRPG and put in 100 hours, no problem, plus... Uh, now I can't do that. I can't. There's, there's so many games out now. Yeah, there are I'm, too many games. I'm basically uh, doing that with Akami at the moment. Just, yeah, yeah. It's like a 50-hour game. Exactly, and I'm it's like, big. Oh God, right? I've only put 20 hours in. Yeah, exactly. So that's Thog done. Well done, Rich. First try. Thanks. First Cheers, try. mate. First try. First try. Mission clear. Does it yeah. say that? No, I don't think it does. It should do. It might do. I don't know. <laughs> so this is this is, is, um, this is a boss now. What's this that? took a while. Is that their kingmaker? Rich? It's their kingmaker, Longfang. Oh my god! It looks like it's guy? got a scary spice wig on. Kind of uh, <laughs> nullifies its uh, scariness a bit. I think. Do you fight this guy? Yeah. He's yeah. a big old guy. He's a big old dragony sod. You yeah. lose, don't you? Nope. Really? Nope. Butcher Baker Kingmaker. I like yeah. it. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Rhymes. Uh, it's beautiful, mate. It's wonderful. Rhymes, mate. Rhymes. So yeah, this is um, a big boss oh, battle. It's a level 30 beast. He's, he's a little bit smaller than I thought he was going to be. I thought he was oh. like the size of a village. Oh, you might also be keen to know that you've got another little partner who speaks in a Welsh accent, oh, like really? Drippy did in the first game. I can't remember his name. That really little annoying. dude there? Yeah, the little dude who's oh, come up in the I, text I box. I love that they put it in the, um, the subtitles as well. Yeah, oh. they almost translate it. The Welsh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the English. Welsh accent. I can't. I wish I could remember its name. Um, uh, Should we call him Stephen? Stephen. Sure. I like him. Sure, sure, sure. Ah. Yeah, but he's he's the equivalent uh, dr that Drippy was in Drippy the, in the was first great. game. Drippy, Drippy was good. You know what though, Drippy. I loved his accent and everything, but I think that might have been my issue with the first. Really? I think the characters really weren't well written, and I wasn't that invested in oh, the story. Okay. Like in order to be. A successful RPG, JRPG, Western you gotta, RPG, gotta hook ARPG. You in. The characters are yeah. a key because you like the game can only carry the game so much. Right, right, right. The world and the characters have to do the rest. Yeah. And if you're not invested in the world and the characters, there's no way you're going to put 100 hours in. No, absolutely. Like in The Witcher, I thought Geralt was great, and I thought like even the 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 kind of the supporting cast were yeah. great as well. Yeah. Um. So Dandelion. Mm. Um. Uh, Triss, um, Yennefer, those kind of characters. Mm. Like, I don't, I don't think the first game had those kind of characters. Yeah, if you're going to spend a significant amount of time, and let's face it, it is right. Yeah, it's it's several, several game, days, right? right? Yeah, you, you've got to care about the characters. You've got to care about the story. Um, I, I couldn't get enough of an impression of uh, what this is like in that regard. All I know is that you're this kid, Evan, and you're you know trying to reclaim the throne. You're a would-be king. Who's been kind of usurped or whatever, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how interesting the journey's going to be. It's an interesting setup, certainly. And the game's fun to play. And the game's fun to play. I mean, I, I got the hang of it at this point. I, I understood what spells I had, what I could do. Um, it took a little while to get to grips with, but what um, a way to end, though. Richard. It's fairly intuitive and straightforward, and uh, it was a lot of fun in the end. Yeah, it looks like they've gone a little bit more. Um, uh like almost like Overwatchy with the different powers and stuff. Yeah, and it's cool. You, and you have an ultimate. That was your ultimate. It's sort of a big well, ultimate. I could just bust out. Yeah, so it's cool. So anyway, that was Nino Kuni Two Revenant Kingdom. That's out for PS4 this March, I believe. Thanks for watching again. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, folks. Bye. See Bye. you next time. Bye.